Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs and today I am kicking off my Cutest Cow series. I've got several projects for you using this adorable bundle. It's a stamp and punch bundle, which we all love. And this uh, stamp set has 24 images, so you've got lots of little options. Um, in my mind, when I first started brainstorming ideas for this stamp set, I was thinking about sunflowers. And I don't have a sunflower stamp set, but I do have the Cheerful Daisies. So we're going to create a sunflower background with the Cheerful Daisies. And I am pulling in the uh, fence right here from the Hey Chuck stamp set. And we'll use the die from the Hey Chuck dies to cut it out. Okay, let's start with that beautiful background first. We're going to stamp the daisies in verse marks and emboss them with white embossing powder. And then we're gonna add a little bit of color to them using uh, Stampin' Blends. So this is a uh, three and three fourths by five inch piece of Daffodil Delight, and I'm using my embossing buddy to uh, rub it down with uh, the powder that's in there that will help release any of the static um, that might be on my cardstock that would hold on to the uh, embossing powder in places we don't want it. Now, I know that you cannot see this because this is a clear ink. So I'm just gonna stamp them and you're gonna have to trust me that they're there. <laughs> and then we will, in a second, let's see, I think we're, we're good. Let's take our white embossing powder. This is the embossing additions kit, all these little things. Um, and they help you with your embossing. The tray is great because it catches all the powder. And that embossing buddy does come in this kit. There's also some reversible tweezers, which I don't have here. And then it comes with a paintbrush as well, so that you can brush off any rogue embossing powder that you find. All right, take your heat tool, and you're gonna have to heat it. Um, it takes about 10, 15 seconds for the heat tool to heat up to the right temperature, but as soon as it does, you'll see it start to change your embossing powder. It'll turn to a bright white and it's shiny. You wanna make sure that you move your um, heat gun, heat tool around while you're embossing so that you don't scorch your paper. You can also do this from the underside, but I prefer to do it from the top so I can really, you know, hit it directly and just get it done. Now, one thing that you have to remember when you are doing a bunch of embossing is that you really have to check to make sure you got all of it. So the way I do that is I take it and I kind of turn it to see, and I can see right here there's a part of this flower that's not bright white. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna take um, Pecan Pie Stamp and Blends. I'm gonna use the light and I'm just gonna color in the centers of each of my daisies slash sunflowers. Now, if you have a sunflower stamp, you could most definitely use that in place of the daisy, but I thought the daisy was a pretty good substitution. Okay, let's just color all of these in. And then I'm gonna get my basic black Stampin' Write marker and I'm gonna add in those little black dots that you would see on a sunflower, like the seeds. All right, now we've done all of this just to create a fun, special background for our cute little cow. Okay, now I'm gonna take my black and vanilla check ribbon and I'm gonna tie a bow about close to the top, maybe like an inch from the top. And we'll get that bow. And then before you pull it real tight, kind of check everything, make sure they're all even. And then you can pull it and you can even hold that, that knot in the center and readjust the, the length of your bow if you don't want it to be too terribly long. There we go, like that. All right, and then take your scissors, and it looks like I don't have my good scissors here, so I'm gonna attempt to do this with my paper snaps. There we go. All right, 
So now I'm gonna take a pecan pie card base and on the front, I'm gonna use this image. This is actually the center part of the flower right here on the Cheerful Daisies. And I'm gonna stamp just around the edge really because that's all you're gonna see with pumpkin pie ink. Just kind of going along the edge. Kind of varying the pattern with some of them being off, some of them being on. They don't have to be perfect because they really are in the background. And one more. All right, now let's take some dimensionals and add this to our card base. And then we are ready for our cutest cows. I've got a little bowl to collect my dimensional backings. Otherwise, they are everywhere. You guys know they are everywhere. All right, so stick that on like that. And there's the base of our card. Now for our cutest cow. I am gonna stamp, um, now you have, you have several options with a cow and I decided to do the cow that's laying down. The punch will only punch the cow that's standing up, um, but we're gonna do the cow sitting down, which means, or laying down, which means we'll have to fussy cut that part. But for the head, we can punch that one. And I am stamping these in memento black. Okay, and I'm gonna stamp that fence in memento black as well. Now let's do some coloring. I'm gonna start with my light basic black, and I'm just gonna color in the spots of our cow. And basic black is a very dark color. The dark basic black is super, super dark, and I Worry about using it because you lose some of the detail in your image. So that's why I chose the light. I'm gonna do his little hooves as well. And then we'll just do the center part right here of his face. And then I'm gonna take Petal Pink, which I left over here on my other tray. And we're gonna color in a little bit of his ears, we'll color in his nose and give him some rosy cheeks. Now for our feds, I'm gonna use crumb cake and I'm gonna start with my light crumb cake. And I'm gonna start kind of with an angled down like this because I want it to be lighter at the top than I do at the, at the bottom. So I'm gonna leave that white for a little while. I'm gonna take some of my light here, like that. Now, I'm gonna switch over to my dark, and now I'm gonna add in some dark like that, kind of inside, I'm not going all the way as far as the as I did for the, the light. And then here, I'm just gonna add a little bit behind each of the post to give it a little shadow. And then we'll go back with our light and we'll blend that up like that leaving just the very tops white. And then we can blend all this out like that. There we go. All right, now let's do, let's see, we're actually gonna wanna cut this off so we don't punch it. So let's cut, cut this out first. Get your paper snips and go right on the outside of the black line I've still got cardstock from the last project stuck to my paper snips. These little paper snips are great because they can really get in those, those small spaces. And we're just gonna try to stay right on the outside. That way, the eye will only see the edge of this stamp. Cut off that excess cardstock as you go to that will help you get into those little spaces. Okay, now we'll take our punch and we'll punch. If you don't want to fussy cut, then make your cow standing and use the, um, the punch for the standing cow. All right, our fence has a die in the hay chuck dies, which I set over here. 
and we'll run that through. Make sure you've got it lined up on the top, on the bottom, and both sides. There we go. All right. Now, we've got a, um, this is a, one of our nested essential dies, and it is the largest rectangle cut from basic white. Now I'm gonna stamp these sunflowers right back here all the way to the top, okay? Now I'm gonna grab my old olive stamp and blend. I'm gonna use the light and I'm gonna color in each of these each of these leaves and then I'm just going to take my dark old olive and I'm just going to put a little kind of a little dark line down the middle All right, now let's get Daffodil Delight. I'm gonna use the dark Daffodil Delight to color in each of these little petals. And you probably are gonna to wanna to use the uh, bullet tip end here because these are very, very small. And really you just need to kind of stamp that color in there. I'm just wiggling it a tiny bit in each petal. All right, and then last but not least, We'll use light pecan pie in the middle. Like that. Okay, now let's bring over our fence and our dimensionals, which are hidden. Here we go. I'm gonna put my dimensionals back here behind the fence. And I'm gonna do the fence a little bit over to the left side like that because our cow's head is gonna poke over the other side of the fence. And I'm gonna use, to make my cow's head poke up a little bit higher, I'm actually gonna use two dimensionals. Stack them up, and I'm gonna put him right there. So his head is a little bit higher than the rest of the image. Okay, now two dimensionals right here, and we'll put him right there. All right, now for the end side, let's see what we did on the end side. We're gonna stamp those, those uh, flowers, those sunflowers again. I'm not gonna color them just for the sake of the video, but you would color them the same way. And then we'll stamp the sentiment in pecan pie right under it. And it says, the little things you do make such a big difference. Okay, and then we'll adhere that to the inside of our card and we are done. Now you can change the sentiment to anything you want. Whoops, look at that, I just smeared the ink. Well, we'll have to replace that. All right, well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this card. This is a great bundle. The bundle price is retiring at the end of May. It will, the individual punch and stamps will be in the catalog, the new annual catalog in May, but they won't be discounted the 10%. So if you want it, make sure you get it before the spring catalog is over. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me. Bye.